Hello, I'm Kirsten from the Online Academy of Irish Music and this is Carla. Hello! And we just arrived in Helsinki and we're very excited. And we're on our way to an Irish music session to meet some Finnish friends, play some tunes. So, stay tuned to this vlog and we'll bring you some footage of Helsinki sessions and hopefully an interview or two. Over the past 20 years, I've been so fortunate to have travelled to Finland many times to play music with Irish and Finnish friends at various gigs and festivals across the country. The purpose of this vlog is really to document my personal experience of Irish music and musicians in Finland. Helsinki is Finland's capital city in the south of the country. It has a population of just under 1,300,000 making it the most densely populated area in Finland. We arrived in Helsinki at 4pm and by 6pm we were making our way to an Irish music session at Maltenreko. We were warmly welcomed into the session. I met many musicians who I hadn't met before. We had an amazing evening of tunes and songs and we got a chance to catch up with Kori, better known as Reiske, after to ask him about the history of Irish music in Helsinki. Maybe it was 83 when one of some friends of mine and me started a band playing Irish music. And it, it was called Shantrum. Shantrum? Yeah. There, there's a Kaylee band called Shandrum now, the Shandrum Kaylee band. Oh. They stole it from me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it was somebody picked that name from O'Neill's book or something. Reska told us how in the early 80s Brendan Behan's play The Cork Leg was playing in the theatre in Helsinki. The Shandrum Band were approached to arrange and perform the music for the production. They were joined by Harry Bent, an Irish architect student and musician who was studying in Helsinki at the time. And they decided to change the name of the band after this to the Finnish name for Korkleg, Korkiala. I was so delighted to discover that other members of Korkiala were here playing Petri Hakala and Kale Jansen. I've heard so much about this band from my Finnish friends who play Irish music. They've had a massive influence on the Irish music scene in Finland. Harry Bent stayed on in Helsinki for years and was one of the founders of the Irish Festival in Finland. Reiske recounts the year of 1986. And the festival started at six when and, and Harry said that we, let's call the down yeah. and, and we said well, they won't come and uh, and it's too expensive and anything or all, all that but he, he was uh, sure that it's going to happen and it happened did they and, come yeah Woo! for the first festival and and it was a very good it, it succeeded <laughs> very well and, and it was kind of a sold out. The festival toured around the whole of the country bringing Irish music to schools, bars and theatres all over. I was really fortunate to have played at this festival twice, once in the year 2002 and later in the year 2011 with the fiddle case. The next morning I woke to a rainy, cold Helsinki. I made my way across the city to the Sibelius Academy, one of the largest music academies in the whole of Europe. It was established in 1882 as the Helsinki Music Institute, 
and one of its early music students was Jean Sibelius, who later became a world-famous composer. He's most famous for his piece Finlandia. The Academy was renamed the Sibelius Academy in his honour in 1939. In 1983, a degree programme in folk music was initiated at the Academy. And since then, many musicians, researchers and teachers have graduated and have continued to enhance the strong folk cultures of Finland and the other Nordic countries. I arranged to meet friend and fiddler Kirsi Vinki here to talk about her music, rooted in both Nordic and Irish traditions. She teaches fiddle and instrument pedagogy in the folk music department and is also involved in instrument making workshops. I first met her when I came to Finland in 2011 with the fiddle case and I asked Kirsi to tell me how she became so interested in folk music. I got it from my father. Yeah. was very interested in different traditions, mm-hmm. all kind of traditions like uh, Nordic and Celtic and Hungarian, like gypsy wow. music is one of his obsessions. Uh-huh. And well, my father wanted us to be a kind of a family band and we played a lot like little concerts and we were also busking all over we were yeah. like in market squares as we were traveling in Sweden and in Central Europe we were busking playing like Finnish music, Swedish music, Irish music, whatever yeah. he taught us to play. Those Irish tunes like Thermoy Lassies, mm-hmm. um, Chief O'Neill's favorite, those were the like first Irish music pieces, traditional mm-hmm. music pieces I learned from my father and they stuck in my mind. I was like, oh, I love that <laughs> kind of repetitive and <laughs> looping kind of idea and it was like running wild when I got to play Irish uh, real story. Kirsi made her way to University Limerick to spend a term at the Irish World Academy of Music. It was 2010. Mm-hmm. I went to UL, mm-hmm. and it was very, very interesting half a year. I watched there, and I had my fiddle teacher was Simon Peoples, mm-hmm. and there were many, many great master uh, lectures there, and I got many great ideas. That, but the wonderful thing was that I had a chance to stay in Ennis, to mm-hmm. live there, and the sessions there. And there. Sugar oh yeah, on the top of 2010, that, that experience. I got the chance to catch up later on in the day with Heiki Gulgisello, the piper from the previous night session, to have a chat with him. I'm studying uh, a course called Global Music in Ensibilis Academy in Helsinki, and uh, it, it's a course that there are like uh, students from abroad, from many countries, and and uh, they will co- combine different different music from different cultures and backgrounds. So are, like, are you able to specialize in Irish music on this course? Or? Yes, yeah. yes, that's, that's been my, my thing. And mm-hmm. uh, I've been getting, getting lessons from, from Blackie O'Connell from, from County oh, Clare good, yeah. through, through my, my school. Oh, that's excellent, yeah. There, there seems to be a bit of a piping community here in Finland. Yes, yes, I think my rough estimate is that we are ten pipers now, wow. or, or something like that. That's amazing. And yeah. who, who's responsible for this? Like, how, where did it come from? I, I think um, Mar- Markus Lampela uh-huh. m- might be the first first person. You, you know Markus. I do know Markus. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, in, in, in Oulu, I, I think Markus like uh, start, started it. And is there any like younger pipers? I know that you're you're young as well. But is there, is there uh, up and coming? I, I think I. I'm the youngest piper <laughs> <laughs> in Finland. We'll see how well. long that lasts. Right. Yes. <laughs> we're on our way now to Tampere, where we're going to meet some more musicians and friends and chat to them, play tunes with them. So um, stay tuned. And that's Sibelius in the background. See if I can get him. Tampere is the second largest city in Finland located 160 kilometers northwest of Helsinki, with a population of approximately 250,000 people. 
It's a large hub of Finnish industry and is known as the sauna capital of the world. We took some time to wander around the city and sample some of the Finnish cuisine. Here we are in Tampere on our way to a song workshop um, to teach a song to some, an Irish song to some Finnish people. <laughs> Ooh, she's trying to cut me out the snap here. <laughs> At six o'clock, we were headed to the pub, Kievari Kodet Kosvot. We had a lovely start to the evening with Carla teaching the Irish ballad, The Roads to Kildare. Carla performs and sings back in County Clare. She grew up surrounded by the ballads and tunes of her dad, mom, and uncles. People gathered to listen while we played a short concert of songs and tunes before launching into a session which lasted for over eight hours. This event was hosted by Irish Festival Spring Gathering in conjunction with the Online Academy of Irish Music. Irish Festival Spring Gathering happens in April in Tampere each year. Lots of musicians come over from Ireland to perform and to play sessions with Finnish musicians. This year, the Online Academy of Irish Music will be hosting a series of slow sessions for learners in Finland in April at the festival. Tonight was an opportunity for players of Irish music in Finland to get together and what a night it was. Musicians travelled from all over the country to play jigs and reels and to sing songs together. He is a perfect creature, natural in every feature, and I am the geek with the alphabet For all of you who must you so The night progressed into a very lively session. The level of musicianship was incredible, with a great range of instruments. Illin pipes, fiddles, concertina, guitars, bazooki, baron, flutes and whistles. We left the pub very late and very happy, full of tunes, friendship and Finnish beer. The next day we managed to catch up with Irish Finnish band Iala. They were busy practicing for an upcoming gig at the Irish Festival of Oulu. Maya Kaskanalusta and I have been great friends for years. We studied together at the Irish World Academy of Music and Dance in 2002 at the University of Limerick. Nora, who is playing whistle here, is also the singer in the band. I asked Nora what the Finnish people found so attractive about Irish music. Actually, there are quite many people who are interested in Irish music. Mm. They, I feel like Finnish people feel some kind of a sim similarity to Irish music and the culture. Mm. And every time we play for a session or a concert, mm. There are people coming up to to us saying that the music goes straight to their soul or they feel like it's something that's really touching and moving. Yeah. Maya 
is one of the main organisers for the Spring Gathering Festival, which runs each year in April in Tampere. This festival attracts great bands and performers which come from Ireland, as well as many Irish music players and lovers from all around Finland. I asked her about the tune that they've just played. We are running our Irish music festival here in Tampere. The Spring Gathering. The Spring Gathering. <laughs> and the real is called the Spring Gathering. So. Yeah. We play it every time we have a big session or mm. our closing concert or the first the concert. concert. Yeah, yeah. The we always play it there. It's like having a logo for a, yeah, a, ch- a, a musical logo. Yes. Wow, that's, that's really it. cool. Yeah. Well done, Maya. Mm. Samuel Karialainen is also a great tin whistle player who spent time studying Irish music at the Irish World Academy of Music and Dance. He's from Helsinki, where he frequently teaches and plays lots of music with his partner, fiddler Kirsi Vinky. Because there are so many tin whistle players subscribed to this channel, I asked him to show us a finished style wooden wind instrument. This is a, a wooden horn. Kirsi, my, my partner, she, she made it. But it's uh, Rauno Nie- Nieminen, who is an instrument maker mm-hmm. and uh, kind of a... He has made copies of m- many old instruments in museums. Mm-hmm. And this this is called Lulletti, which is wooden horn. And is it Finnish specifically, or specifically? yeah, yeah, in, in, in Finnish and in, in, in the borders of, of uh, Finland and, and Russia, uh-huh. and uh, it's many like a lot of women played this uh-huh. this in- instrument, and it's a horn like. Uh-huh. This is a real aunty learnt from the playing of Reiska of Korkiela, Big John McNeil. I took the opportunity to ask aunty about the town he resides in, which is renowned for its tradition of strong fiddle music. The place I live nowadays uh, is called Kaustinen. Mm-hmm. And there I actually, um, there? Would there be like um, nights of music in bars? Or? Yeah, yes, there are. Yeah. yeah, sometimes. Mm-hmm. Not very often, but, but there are. Yeah. People come together weekly and mm-hmm. play, uh, not in bars mm-hmm. so much. Yeah. But it's a very lively tradition there. It must be more healthy as well. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the end of our Finland trip and the end of the Online Academy of Irish Music's very first vlog. We hope that you've enjoyed it. And if you've never been to Finland before and fancy coming to the Spring Festival, it's in Tampere from 20th to the 22nd of April, 2023.